I make and sell a bicycle wheel building tool called a nipple tray. This is it. I got to make some more of these tonight. So I got the machine on, ready to go over here, and I wanted to step you through what it takes to make a nipple tray. All right, now I'm hitting run. Here we go. Programs queued up, machines loaded, full of tools. We're going. First cut, we're just taking an end mill and going around the outer edge. We're just establishing the outside of the part. This is what it looks like in real time. Let's speed this up. So we're doing a spiral move to cut this pocket out of the top. It's getting kind of hard to see because of the coolant's blasting everywhere. So let's take a look at the simulation. Now we gotta face the top off so the top is nice and flat. I do this now because that way I only have to face that outer edge and not the entire top of the part. Now this one's quick, we're just engraving the RM logo. Here I'm switching back to a half inch end mill and just doing another facing move to knock any burrs down from the engraving. Now we're using a 3 16 end mill to trace around the outer edge of that pocket. All right, now we're going to a drill bit. We're pre-drilling a bunch of holes for the starting points of the slots. So the end mill can just drop down into the pre-drilled hole and then move laterally and cut the slot. Now here's another drill bit. This one's drilling the nipple poker hole. Now this is the most dangerous move <laughs> of this whole program because this is a tiny little end mill. I think it's 5 30 second end mill and we're cutting some narrow slots and I've broke more of these end mills than I'd like to admit. But the all the coolant flow being directed directly onto the end mill makes a huge difference. Uh, <laughs> I, I went through hell trying to get this program developed, but it's awesome to have it ironed out as well as it is now. But even this, still this move makes me nervous because of how many end mills I broke doing this. Now we're switching to the chamfer mill and we're just gonna chamfer every single edge we just cut. I'm blowing the part off with some compressed air. Inspection. Looks pretty good. Now we gotta flip the part over and do the second side. Now we're just hogging the material off the bottom. This is the fastest material removal uh, cut in the whole part. So you can just see the metal flying off of that end mill. It's awesome. Now we're going around the edge, cutting off the extra material off the bottom lip there. And back to the chamfer mill, chamfering all the edges on the bottom side. That's it, hot off the press. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please hit like. If you wanna see more videos like this, please hit subscribe. If you wanna buy a nipple tray, please go to my website. 
russellmakes.com slash store. You can buy my nipple tray. You can buy some CNC machine coasters that I make. There's some other things on there. All right, that's it for this one. I'm going home. It is late.